Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing Perun sharks. While they have the common name shark, Perun sharks are not true sharks. They're actually catfish. They just get this fishy name because of their shark-like appearance. Perun sharks are part of the shark catfish family, of which there are approximately 30 living species. Many of these species are endangered, and the Perun shark is no exception. This fish is listed as critically endangered in the wild. Though they top the food chain, they're overfished by humans. They're also threatened by habitat destruction, including the building of dams. Perun sharks are migratory, typically moving to warmer areas during the colder parts of the year. If dams are built, the fish can't swim to different parts of their range. These fish are native to freshwater rivers of Central Asia. Perun sharks have also been found outside of their native range in places like South Africa, where they've been linked to illegally released individuals from the pet trade. These fish are tolerant of murky, low-oxygen water, and, in fact, can breathe air like an arapaima. They are benthic animals, meaning they spend their time cruising along the bottom of the water column. They don't get the name giant for nothing. Perun sharks can reach over 9 feet long, though it should be noted that individuals of this size haven't been recorded from the wild for many years. These giant catfish have long trailing filaments from their dorsal, pectoral, and pelvic fins, which can help differentiate them from other giant shark catfish species. The tip of their anal fin is colored black. They also have pectoral spines that can reach nearly two feet in length. One report suggests anglers have been fatally injured by these spines, so don't mess with a perun shark. It's unknown how long these fish live, but they're known to grow fast, so some speculate they have a short lifespan. Perun sharks breed right before the rainy season. Unlike some fish, like walking catfish, that enter flooded forests to spawn, perun sharks are believed to always remain in the river, never crossing the flooded banks. They'll position themselves in the deep pools, where they can easily find crustaceans and fish to eat. These catfish are also scavengers, which has earned them perhaps their least appealing common name, the dog-eating fish. Dog carcasses float in the river, and the perun shark takes full advantage of these as meals. When they do meet up to mate, perun sharks are believed to release their sperm and eggs simultaneously. This occurs in muddy water, so the eggs don't stick together. In lab settings, the eggs hatched just 30 hours after fertilization. The babies are on their own from birth, but they grow quickly, reaching approximately 4 inches long in just 2 months' time. For more facts on Perun sharks, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.